The Rapid Entire Body Assessment, or REBA, is a powerful tool designed to assess the risk of musculoskeletal disorders, or MSDs, in the workplace. MSDs can affect muscles, joints and tendons, leading to pain, discomfort and even disability. RIBA helps identify work tasks and postures that may contribute to these disorders. Developed by ergonomists, REBA provides a systematic method for evaluating various risk factors associated with work activities. These factors include posture, force, repetition and duration, all of which can significantly impact the likelihood of developing MSDs. By identifying high-risk tasks, REBA allows employers and safety professionals to implement appropriate control measures. This proactive approach promotes a safer and healthier work environment, reducing the incidence of work-related MSDs and their associated costs. REBA distinguishes itself from other ergonomic assessment tools through its unique features. First and foremost, REBA takes a whole body approach, considering the interaction between different body segments. This is crucial because awkward postures or forceful exertions in one area can impact other parts of the body. Secondly, REBA is designed for quick assessment, making it a practical tool for use in busy work settings. The assessment can typically be completed within a few minutes, allowing for efficient identification of potential risks without disrupting workflow. Finally, REBA offers a comprehensive evaluation, taking into account not only posture, but also factors like load, coupling and activity duration. This comprehensive approach ensures a more accurate assessment of the overall risk associated with a particular task or job. The REBA assessment process involves a series of steps that guide the assessor in evaluating the risk of MSDs. The first step is observation, where the assessor carefully observes the worker performing the task in question. This involves noting the worker's posture, the forces being exerted, and the duration of the task. Next, the assessor uses the REBA worksheet to score the observed postures. The worksheet breaks down the body into different segments, assigning scores based on the degree of bending, twisting, or reaching involved. Higher scores indicate a higher risk of injury. The upper body score is determined by factors like neck position, arm elevation, and wrist posture. Simultaneously, the lower body score considers leg position, back posture, and any twisting or bending at the waist. These scores contribute to the overall REBA score. Load, coupling, activity, and movement factors in depth. Beyond posture, REBA incorporates additional factors that contribute to MSD risk. Load refers to the weight or force being handled during the task, with heavier loads increasing the strain on muscles and joints. Coupling refers to the grip and handling of objects. A good coupling allows for a secure grip with minimal force exertion, while a poor coupling may require excessive force or awkward hand positions. Activity score reflects the repetitiveness and duration of the task. Repetitive motions, especially when prolonged, can lead to fatigue and increase the risk of injury. Movement factors consider the speed and smoothness of movements with rapid or jerky motions adding to the overall risk. REBA Scoring and Risk Levels Interpreting the Results Once all the relevant factors have been scored, the individual scores are combined to generate a final REBA score. This score reflects the overall level of risk associated with the assessed task. The REBA scoring system uses a scale ranging from 1 to 15, with higher scores indicating a higher risk of MSDs. Scores are grouped into different risk levels, each with corresponding action recommendations. For instance, a score of 1 or 2 indicates a low risk, requiring no immediate action. Meanwhile, a score of 10 or higher signifies a very high risk necessitating immediate intervention to modify the task or implement control measures. To illustrate the practical application of REBA, consider a worker on an assembly line who repeatedly lifts and attaches small components to a product. The worker stands for prolonged periods with their arms raised and wrists bent. They handle small tools with a pinch grip requiring a high level of precision. A REBA assessment of this task might involve observing the worker's posture, the weight of the components, the repetitiveness of the movements and the duration of the task. Based on these observations, the assessor would assign scores for each factor 
ultimately arriving at a final REBA score. If the REBA score indicates a high risk of MSDs, the employer could implement several control measures. These might include providing adjustable workstations to improve posture using lighter tools, introducing job rotation to reduce repetitive motions or implementing rest breaks.